Welcome to the MOOC Lecture on the Forebrain, Tell Encephalon. At the end of this video presentation, you should be able to state the general functions of the brain, describe the forebrain as part of Tell Encephalon, identify the elevations and depressions on the surface of the cerebrum, name the different lobes of the cerebrum, List the physiological functions of each lobe of the cerebrum. Brain is the universe between the two ears. The three pound, 1.4 kilograms, brain is a phenomenal organ. It can make you feel sad, mad or glad. All behaviors, actions, thoughts, sensations, emotions. Memory and feelings originate from billions of neural networks interacting to make us human. We would not function without our brains. It has numerous folds that give it its wrinkled, convolutions, appearance that helps increase the surface area. The grooves are called fissures, valleys, or saucy and the bumps, hills, called the gyri. Here is the human brain showing the sulci, fissure, and the gyri. You also see the four different lobes, frontal, parietal, temporal, and the occipital. Also seen is the little brain, the cerebellum at the bottom of the cerebrum. The brain is covered by three layers of meninges called the dura mater, the arachnoid matter, and the pia mater. The brain floats in a fluid produced by the brain called the cerebrospinal fluid. This fluid protects the brain from concussions when the head moves. The forebrain. The cerebrum is the largest part of the brain. It fills the entire cranium and consists of two cerebral hemispheres, the right and left sitting on the brainstem. The two hemispheres are connected by a band of fibers called the corpus callosum. In majority of people, the left cerebral hemisphere is the dominant one. The left hemisphere is responsible for production of language, mathematical ability, problem solving, logic, intelligence and thought, while the right hemisphere is thought to be responsible for creativity and spatial ability. The right hemisphere controls the left side of the body and the left hemisphere the right side of the body. The lobes are named after the bones of the skull that overlie them. 52 structurally distinct areas have been identified by Broadman and are called by the number. The lobes of the brain. The central sulcus and the lateral fissure also called the sylvian fissure divide the brain. Into the frontal, parietal and temporal lobes. The calcarine fissure divides the rest of the brain from the occipital lobe. The cerebellum lies posterior to the cerebrum and sits on the brain stem. The frontal lobe. It is located at the front of each cerebral hemisphere, in front of the central sulcus and above the lateral fissure. It contains the primary motor cortex, area 4, and the premotor cortex, area 6. The motor speech area called the Broca's area, area 44 and 45, helps in the production of speech. Apart from that it has many other functions that make us human, such as personality, judgment, insight, reasoning, problem solving, abstract thinking and working memory. The parietal lobe is located just behind the central focus, in other words behind the frontal lobe. Functionally it has the somatosensory cortex, areas 3, 1 and 2. Its function is to receive sensory information such as touch, pain temperature, from the opposite side of the body and interpret it. 
Furthermore, it helps in spatial orientation, perception and recognition by touch. It links the visual and somatosensory information together. The somatosensory association areas are the areas 5 and 7 which help in recognition and description of the sensation. Damage to this cortical lobe causes neglect of the opposite side of the body. There is a representation of the human body areas in the brain called the homunculus. The cortical area devoted to each structure is rather disproportionate. The hands that require many intricate movements and sensations to function properly requires greater amount of cortical surface area while our back is quite the opposite, requiring limited cortical area, as its function are less. Thus the body appears like a cartoon map of us on the brain surface called the little person. The temporal lobe is located on both sides of the brain. It is involved in receiving and processing auditory information. Primary auditory cortex areas 41 and 42, higher order visual information as well as complex aspects of memory and language. The area 22 on the temporal lobe, left side, is responsible for the comprehension of speech. The occipital lobe occupies the back, posterior, portion of the brain, separated by the calcarine sulcus from the parietal and temporal lobes. This is concerned with visual processing and the primary visual sensory cortex, area 17, and higher order association areas are located, areas 18 and 19. Brain Facts Summary The brain is located within the cranial vault. The cranial vault is made up of the frontal, parietal, temporal, and the occipital bone. The brain consists of the cerebrum that is divided into the frontal, parietal, temporal and the occipital lobes. The brain is covered by the meninges and contains the cerebrospinal fluid. The brain is 75% water, 60% white matter and 40% gray matter. It is the fattest organ in the body and is vulnerable to oxygen deprivation. 5-10 minutes of oxygen deprivation, blood supply, results in permanent damage. Interestingly, you can snore and dream, but not at the same time. By the age of six years, it attains the full size and weighs about three pounds. Use it or lose it is the slogan. The more we use the brain, the better we will be. Thank you for watching the presentation. Your feedback is most valuable.